welcome back to my channel. So we were just talking about Christiana just a few days ago in my last Love After Lockup updates video. And in that video, it seemed like Christiana wasn't doing so hot. She pretty much admitted that she relapsed and in her most recent pictures, she looked like she lost a lot of weight. She made this post just this week talking about F, I hate you drugs and then saying the world's such a disaster. I want to get rid of drug use so bad. I'm trying to seek help right now. Thanks so much to my real friends and family. And then this morning, she was arrested. So this is her mugshot. And you can tell she looks like a sad little puppy in this mugshot. And she was arrested at 1 in the morning. And she was arrested for theft in the second degree of motor vehicle theft. And she was also charged with possession of marijuana and possession of a controlled substance. With the second possession charge was for meth, and I thought it was interesting because in most states, if you get caught with hard drugs, that's an automatic felony, and most states, if you get caught with weed, as long as it's not over a certain amount, then it's a misdemeanor, and both of these charges are misdemeanors, except the theft for the second degree charge is a Class D felony, so she was arrested. She's being held on a $10,000 cash-only bond at this time, and I did call the jail and confirm that she still is currently in there. Christiana did have a court date this morning and they did the pre-trial release evaluation and they decided to schedule her preliminary hearing for March 7th. They decided to keep the $10,000 cash only bond. The judge also placed a no contact order and I'm not sure who that no contact order is against. I'm assuming it's probably somebody that Christiana got arrested with. But that is it for the update on Christiana. I'll be sure to let you guys know more when she does go to her next court date. Now we need to talk about Taylor's sister Bobby, her fiance Scott that we saw on the show last season. Well, he posted recently on his Facebook this picture and he says, I came a long way from being an alcoholic, slapping B-I-T-C-H's up and punching N-I-G-G-A-S in the mouth to even putting holes in walls with my bare hands whenever angry. A lot has changed with me over the past decade though. I've been turning over a new leaf and working on becoming the best version of me every day. I try to eat right, get in nature, and meditate on a daily basis. I still have a zero tolerance for disrespect and will certainly correct lies when necessary. I stand on business as a grown man. And Scott's ex that he shares two children with, she actually commented and she said, Right, except becoming a felon for beating up your ex. You know, you love to precede yourself as this great person doing great things, but you're out here with two kids you don't know, job hopping, living off your mom and women, and then beating women into submission. Take your own advice and don't speak on things you don't know. So he actually deleted this comment, but thank God I was able to get the deleted receipts thanks to one of my subscribers. And then I looked up this case she was talking about and I found that he was arrested for DV in the third degree on February, on Valentine's Day of 2022. And he got five years of probation because of this. This was a felony charge and he has a three year suspended prison sentence if he messes up his probation. And that may explain why him and Bobby may have had trouble getting a place with both of them being felons because I had no idea he had this on his background. So then Scott posted in response to his baby mama. He says, I don't live in St. Anne with Bobby and I don't live with my mother. I'm only posting this to correct the lies being told. My oldest son and his brother live with his mother, which are my two children by the same woman. He hurt four other children by another unemployed dude, makes six kids. She has total that are all living with her and her mother and father due to the fact she lost her public housing. Well, I don't want to hear you degrade a mother for taking care of all those children. When you don't have any of those children living with you, and according to her, you don't even take care of them, and the children don't even know you. And he says, 
that right there is embarrassing my son. The worst thing someone could ever do is wish death on someone else. Karma will come for those who spoke this into the universe about me. The internet allows people to open their mouth and spread lies on what they really know nothing about. And then his ex responded. She said, you know, I keep to myself. I don't get in drama and I just sit back and laugh at these people. But when you're constantly talking ish and then making up lies trying to belittle me, I'm bound to open my mouth. I'm very happy with life right now. I have big plans coming, a good job, and a fire relationship. But one thing you're not going to do is downplay my hard work as a woman and a mother. I've never had Section 8, and there's nothing wrong with it if she has. Nothing wrong with it, but I've never needed it. I make and have always made more than enough money to have my own place and take care of my kids. It was my choice to come stay with my parents, save some money, and buy a house. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yes, I have six kids, and I love having every single one of them. I hold it down for them, all six. But you can't even hold it down for two? No help? None? Going years without seeing them? Interesting, but I'm the bad person. Okay, go back to washing dishes and making a fake rap career at your big age and leave us alone. Then she said, okay, done with that. Back to normal broadcasting. Then she said, this is actually hilarious. I never knew that I knew a compulsive liar. We need to get this man child a therapist and a psychologist because baby, he needs help. Laughing my butt off. And then Scott responded, he said, narcissists don't pick losers. They target the best of the best, the strongest, the smartest, the most capable, and those who surpass their own level. Their job is destroy your life, and if they have children with you, the narc will have them assist with destroying you as well. Sometimes you'll find your own intermediate family doing the same thing behind the scenes. Then he pretty much says, look, she's trying to do a smear campaign. That's what narcissists are known for. He said, they need you, but you don't need them, and they know. Then the ex responded, and Scott deleted this comment as well. She said, first of all, you do live with your mom and brother. Second of all, yes, I have six kids, and yes, I moved back in with my parents. No, it's not because I lost my housing. I make way too much for Section 8, and I've never been on it. If you would like to know my business, I'm actually helping them and saving to buy a house, which I'll be doing next year. I make almost double what you make, sweetie, and you have yet to have your own place. You don't help with your kids, and you just seen them for the first time in six years back in December. And last time I checked, my ex has a full-time job and owns his own house and is active in his kids' lives and yours, for a matter of fact. So what exactly are you doing, right? Except becoming a felon for beating up your ex. So... I am looking at Scott completely different now that he has put his hands on women and been arrested for this only back in 2022, just a few years ago, and how he's kind of flexing it on social media like, oh, I came a long way from slapping girls. And the fact that he allegedly doesn't even take care of his kids or try to really see them. Like, no, that is not cool at all. He keeps trying to show off these receipts. Like, he's saying, oh, I got zero in my bank account, but look, I get paid direct deposit in a few days, which I'm not sure, like, what kind of flex that is because everybody gets paid who works. It's just a part of being an adult. But he is showing all these receipts. I want to see the receipts of where you're sending money to your kids and taking care of your kids. But that is it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. Check out my lashes and cosmetics at accordingamber.com. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.